Hey, hey, how's everybody? I hope everybody's doing good. You know, I feel good. Listen, today's video. I think y'all gonna really, <laughs> we all gonna have a story to tell on this one. So of course I want you to like the video. Always smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. It's just that hit the button, it's right there. Comment on the video. If nothing else, comment on the video. The comments matter. Listen, today I want to talk to you guys about being in love with a narcissist. To love a narcissist is to love pain, to love torment, to love disappointment. It's everything you never wanted. Everything you've never wanted in a relationship. Everything. You're dealing with the devil. You're dealing with the devil. The narcissist isn't any good to be in a relationship with. And they know it. They know it. A narc isn't, that's the re, that's one of the reasons they hide the fact that they are na narcissists. That's one of the reasons that they hide that they are evildoers. They are devils. Now, when a narcissist actually comes out with it and tells you, I'm bad, I'm this, I'm, I'm, I'm really a, you know, I'm really a devil. That means that they have gotten so comfortable with you. They've gotten to a place and they have tapped into you in a way where they feel like I can tell you the truth at this point and you are not going anywhere. And they're eventually going to try you on that level. Eventually, the narc is going to come out with it and tell you just how just how low they really are. They're going to, at some point, admit to you they are evil, that they are dirty. They will. The narcissist truly knows that they are no good for anyone. For anyone. You trying and going through that ritual, going through the routines, you're going through the motions, you know, and you're thinking, if I do enough, if I do enough, eventually this person has to, they have to change. They have to get better. They have to treat me good. They have to do the right thing. It's never going to happen. Invoke said, never going to get it, never going to get it. You're never going to get it. You're never going to get it. Not with a narc. Never. Not, you know, if you stick around long enough, you know, you stay around for, you know, maybe 30, 40 years. It doesn't matter how long you stay. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter how long you stay with a narc. You're going to get the exact same thing. You're going to get the exact same thing. You're always going to get the worst results. Your, your situation is always going to be worse than somebody else's, than everybody else's that you know. You're always going to be looking for somebody that can relate to the craziness that you're dealing with. Always. Everybody's going to kind of look at you like, well, why, why did you... You know, why didn't you just let that person go? You know, it, dealing with the narcissist, guys, it's kind of like dealing with a really, really bad used car. Oh, man, when you shine it up, get it nice and shined up, 
Man, it looks good in the summertime when you done waxed it, you done washed it, waxed it, got it detailed up, you know. <laughs> you ready to roll out in it, you know. But yeah, as soon as that, you know, that summertime heat hits that engine and it starts to, you know, it starts to get a little warm and <laughs> all you know is, you know, that daggone heater, the the thermostat. <laughs> oh boy, I had some lemons too. They truly are, you know, and when it heats up, you know, that transmission starts slipping. You know, you hear those valves tapping. That That's what it's like being with a narcissist. You know, you got it. I'm going to tell you, being with the narcissist truly is like being in, like buying a used car from a lemon selling selling uh, dealership. It's like being sold a lemon from a, car, a used car dealership. You going out that every time you get that thing right, every time you don't pay some more money, you don't put some more money in that car and more money in the car, and you putting all this money in it. You are doing all this stuff. You going to the mechanic, and the mechanic is telling you, "Hey, look, you know, you should have bought a mechanic with you before you bought this car." You know, your valves tapping. You know, I see some, you know, uh, two different colors in your transmission fluid. You know, you got oil and uh, radiator fluid mixing together. You know, blue smoke coming out the back. <sighs> they're telling you, they're like, look, you know, you put and, and you just like you like that shine on the car. You like how the car's waxed up real nice, you know, and everything. And you just, you know, and you just loving your little used car. Man, and every time, every time you get out, though, every time, you know, you out and you in front of, you know, you out at the park, everybody's out, everybody chilling and whatnot. And you pulling up. And the minute everybody comes around, the, the, you see that temperature gauge go just like that. <laughs> and you know what's next. <laughs> You already know. Oh my God, I gotta turn the call. <laughs> it's a hot, sunny day. It's beautiful outside. You just spent the whole day. You just spent the whole day shining up that car. Whoo wee. Now it's time to go cruise. Mm mm mm. <laughs> Ooh, man, you, you're driving around, you know, you don't call it a flat, you know, because you're tired, you know, one of them, a couple of them tires ain't no good, you know, man, everything that, you know, you thought was okay, you took it for the test drive, and, you know, when you got started with the NARC, it was the love bomb phase, so it looked good. You know, everything sounded good. You know, you know that test drive. You know how that test drive is. <laughs> and it's just like being with the narc. You on your test drive and you hear a little something <laughs> that don't sound right. But you love this car though. You love this car. You hear it. But you love this car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard that them valves tapping, you know, and but you had to have it. It was so nice and you couldn't wait to show it off. And by the time you got to be able to show it off, man, that car done broke down twice. You just drove, you just picked it up yesterday. You know, you on the word away to work the day to show off in front of everybody. And this joker already like, whoa, what was that? <laughs> On your way to work. <laughs> A funny smell coming through the vents. You're like, is that, that no, nah, that's not radiator. That's not the radiator. It's not, oh, no, not the radiator overheating again. Oh, man, that's the narc. You take the narc out here, 
on a hot sunny day. You 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 done shine them all up and you got got her looking all nice and y'all hanging out, y'all going out. And boy, the disappointment every time. I'm telling you, it's the equivalent. It's the equivalent of buying that used car. It's the equivalent of buying a used car. This narcissist, literally, you you buy that you bought this car, and you didn't get any certification on it. You didn't get a warranty. You know, the dealership you got it from one of those shoddy dealers that doesn't even give you a thirty day warranty. They just like, hey, hey, just as is, right? <laughs> It's as is. I'm oh my goodness, people. It's as is. You know what that means? That means that the person who had it, not taking it back. <laughs> They're not taking it back. And the dealership is not taking it back. Okay? They are like, hey, hey, hey. And all sales are final. You're not getting your money back. We don't want to hear it. You know, this is as is, you know, it's on you and uh, that's what it feels like to love a narcissist. It feels like you in love with a car that ain't no good. Oil leaking, transmission fluid leaking, radiator leaking, bald, tires balling on the inside. Oh man, blue smoke coming out the cell pipe. And every time you're in traffic, not, not when you're close to your house, not when you're in the neighborhood, you're close to home, but when you're in traffic and it's hot outside and now the car says, okay, this is a perfect spot <laughs> to overheat. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's how it feels being with a narcissist. Oh, it just feels like you just bought a you just bought a you just had a nightmare. You went to a car dealership and lost all your money and they won't help you with anything. They won't fix it. They just like they just have an attitude like, "Look, we look, we told you all sales are final as as is. I can't do nothing for you. That's your problem." They have no empathy at all. <laughs> they could not sympathize with you. It's like, wow, I just bought this from y'all. Y'all can't. I'm sorry, y'all. All, sir, all sales are final. That's what it's like dealing with a narcissist. And actually, it's not even, it, I'm, I'm going to take that back. That's not a true description. The true description is, that you take that car that is not working good. It describes that it does describe the narcissist because you don't fix it. You don't pay. see the narcissist doesn't think anything is wrong. The narcissist loves leaving you stranded, overheating. When you come out in the morning, it won't start. <laughs> the narcissist loves it. Oh my goodness. They just, they feel like nothing is wrong. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's, you're the problem. You're the problem. I'm fine. That's how the narcissist feels. Hey guys, that's my video. That's my video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. <laughs> I hope y'all got a good laugh out of this one. All right. Hey, listen, thank, I want to thank everybody that supports the channel. Oh, man, I appreciate everybody who sends a cash out. Remember, when you cash out me, it's drag the narc. Okay, drag the narc. Also, for you guys who really, really are just like in the midst of this thing, dealing with the craziness. You you need some real answers, you know, a game plan on how to get it back together. You can reach out to me. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you go onto my Instagram or my Facebook channel 
and inbox me, I will send you a copy of my calendar so that you can book a session with me. All right. <laughs> Remember, stay away from that used narcissist. <laughs> Hey guys, that's my video. Let me know what you think in the comments.